Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about the proof of the uh, circumference of the circle because everybody knows it's 2 pi r, but um, well, schools don't teach us why it is the way it is, or well, at least my school didn't. Okay, so uh, for you to understand this, you have to understand the formula, uh, the parameterized formula of finding a curve length on a plane using calculus. So I'm going to put a video link in the description of this video here so you know where I'm coming from. I'm coming, um, where I'm coming up with this, the formula that I'm going to use in this video. So from experience, I know that I'm going to have to relate x and y to the parameter theta. So x equals, uh, this is kind of thick. x equals r cosine of theta y equals r um, sine of theta dx d theta equals minus r sine of theta dy d theta equals r cosine of theta okay all right so we're going to integrate uh, what's going to happen is that we're going to sweep a vector here and here and here all the way to pi divided by 2 which is here okay all the way up to here and then we're going to multiply the whole thing by 4 so it's the integral of 0 to pi divided by 2 of the square root of dx d theta squared, which is r squared sine squared of theta, plus r squared cosine squared of theta. Okay? d theta. All right. Now, this thing here is just going to become r. Because you have this, so I'm going to factor out the r squared and then sine squared of theta r squared divided by r squared is just sine squared of theta plus r squared cosine squared of theta divided by r squared is just, yeah, divided by this r squared here is just going to be cosine squared of theta. So you got cosine squared of theta here, all right? So sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta is just a trigonometric identity. This becomes 1, and then you have the square root of r squared, which is just r, okay? So this whole thing here is just going to become r. Since r is a constant, which is the radius of the, the circle, I'm just going to put it out of the, the integral here. So it's going to go here. There you go. t theta. So this is just going to be r times theta right because the the integral of d theta is just theta that goes from zero all the way to pi divided by two okay now uh, substituting zero for uh, substituting theta for zero here place and plug in the, the zero into the theta it's just going to cancel everything out because it's just going to be zero times r so don't worry about that putting the pi over two is going to be pi times r divided by two but this is just one quarter of the circumference of the circle so you gotta multiply the whole thing by four, and this four here is gonna simplify with this two, and you're left with two pi r, which is the circumference of the circle. That's it. It's a pretty short video, this one, right? <laughs>